take three of this video clip. Hey everybody, happy early new year. It's uh, December 28th and we are at uh, Whitehorse Key, Florida. Uh, we've been sitting here for a day and a half waiting for a weather window to take us finally five years waiting to the dry Tortugas, hopefully, and hopefully back. Uh, we have the perfect window for the trip there today. It'll be 24 hours roughly if uh, we can maintain about 4.8 knots. And uh, we'll be there for about a day and a half roughly and turn around and come back as soon as we're rested up. Uh, the weatherman says we have a return ticket weather window. Hopefully he's right for once. <laughs> and uh, if you're seeing this, it means we probably did make it. So. Happy New Year and uh, come on along on this trip with us and we'll see how it goes. And we're off. We've got a beautiful beam reach. Woohoo! <laughs> Carlotta is celebrating and does not want to go any faster. We're doing about 4.6 under the full main and uh, the working jib. I don't know the wind speed, uh, maybe 10 knots. Seas essentially flat. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better start. Hopefully the camera shows this only in Florida, right? These are the Cape Romano Shoals off Marco Island. We are just approaching the three nautical mile line and having to do a little dodging. It's charted 13 feet here. It's actually nine. Uh, off to our port side, there is one foot of water. Three miles out, one foot. And off on our uh, starboard side, just a few yards further, is three feet. Well, it's 2 p.m. The wind's picked up a bit. Waves have picked up a little bit. We're, uh, we're making 5.4 knots, five, five and a half knots probably average right now. I'm gonna say we probably have 14, 15 knot wind. We're still under the same canvas, full main working jib. If it picks up any more than this, I'll probably reef. But um, 87 miles to go. <laughs> we're practically there. <laughs> Five minutes later and uh <laughs> yep that reef went in baby <laughs> and we're still doing 5.4 knots so i think that was probably well timed say hello eeyore <laughs> dolphins are that way dolphins are everywhere it's almost 6 p.m Sun setting very shortly. We've been sailing since 10. And um, we just started doing hour long on off shifts a couple hours ago. Getting ready to settle down and uh, do this thing through the night. Hard to say what time we're gonna get to the Tortugas tomorrow, somewhere between, I'm guessing 10 and 11.30 maybe, but who knows what the wind during the night's gonna do. Hopefully uh, it'll, it'll maintain, it's dropped off a little bit. But um, we're, we're getting about four and a half knots right now. And I think that would have us arriving maybe 11 or thereabouts. But um, this is probably the last of the videography until tomorrow morning. Next shot will probably be the sunrise. 70 miles. 70 miles. 70 miles, 70 miles exactly to go. Sunrise! Sunrise are almost. It's a welcome sight. This was our very first overnight sail. And um, it, it, was, uh, it was a learning curve. The inside of the cabin looks like a tornado just went through it. Uh, the dew point was such that the entire boat has been drenched all night long, water cascading off the sails and everything outside. It's like it was raining. And um, we ran out of wind at 2.30 a.m. Had to start motor sailing. Um, we've got just enough breeze now to where the sails are somewhat partly holding a shape. About 
50% of the time. And uh, man, can't wait to get there. We got about 20 miles to go to the Tortugas. Okay, I don't want to hear anybody laughing, all right? <laughs> I told you, everything got wet. Land ho! <laughs> we made it. That structure behind us is Fort Jefferson on Garden Key in the Dry Tortugas. Today is uh, Saturday, December 29th, 2018, and it is 12.30 p.m. Oh, turn around, babe. probably wants us to get the hell out of his way. <laughs> Are you still filming? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, this is not something that we're normally used to encountering in our cruising. Is uh, freaking airplanes landing. That is awesome. Anyway, we made it. It is, uh, 12.30, we left, uh, what, 10.30 yesterday, so it took us 26 hours to get here, and um, I'm going to sign off of this clip so I don't get hit by an airplane. <laughs> this is Fort Jefferson, the most powerful fort ever built by the United States Army. 420 guns, one of which is there. It'd be funny if you crossed paths with my dad when you were out there. I probably did. Now that, folks, is a grouper. That's a dinghy. <laughs> That's a grouper. And our new friend, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Randy. Randy. And there are actually two of them down there. There's another one with him. Well, bye-bye, Fort Jefferson. It's New Year's Eve. And we are uh, gonna make our way back. The wind is east-southeast at the moment. We uh, are hoping that it shifts to the southeast as predicted so we can sail a reach to the back to the 10,000 islands. Um, otherwise, we're not real sure where we're going. <laughs> but uh, my beautiful first mate is up there hanging on the jib. And it's a beautiful day. The winds were very stiff last night. And um, they've died down to something manageable now, as predicted. So let's hope everything uh, continues as, uh, as it is now. And the sailing has begun. We got the sails up. And uh, we couldn't ask for anything more beautiful than what's stretched out in front of us right now. We're actually uh, pointing slightly above our rum line to Indian Key, so that's fantastic in case things turn. All right, well, we're three hours out of Garden Key. And um, we've got about probably a 12 knot wind or so. Pretty good sized swells. We're close hauled into it, so we're not making great time. Um, kind of having to climb a lot of these swells. But um, we're chugging along. Um, yeah, three hours out and we've come uh, a little bit less than 12 miles. The sea is beautiful. It's a nice color of blue. Hope the camera can capture it. And um, Nothing, but nothing, but nothing. Whoops. Miles around. Solar panels are cooking. Got them angled straight at the sun. So they're doing a lot of good work right now, keeping the battery fully charged up. Drying a little laundry. And that's about it. Okay, so... The conditions have gotten a little bit less perfect than they were. They're uh, 
Watch your finger there, baby. Uh, we're now double reefed. We've got about 17 knots or so, and we're close hauled into it. There's a small craft advisory in Key West, which we're still not quite uh, to the same latitude, or to the same longitude of, but we're working on it. We're still on course to make Indian Key though, but um, if it uh, doesn't flatten out or calm down a little bit, we might shift our course north and uh, have a little bit of an easier ride of it. All right, well, this will be the last report before uh, tomorrow morning. It's sunset now. It's a uh, quarter to six. We've been sailing eight and a half hours. Um, we've come 36 miles and we have 67 miles to go. We're about one third of the way. Um, the wind somewhat died down. We shook out both, we had both reefs in for quite a while. We had a double reef going. We've shaken out both of them. Um, the seas have died down a little bit, thank goodness. It'd be nice if they go ahead and die right on down some more. But uh, that may be some hours away still. Yeah. It's a beautiful evening. That is one of the more welcome sunrises I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it was a long night. Not a bad one, just a long one. Ah, we made it! We are skiing right there. We're alive. Uh, the beach up there in the distance is White Horse Key. Uh, how many hours has it been, my love? Since we pulled up anchor at uh, Garden Key in the Dry Tortugas yesterday morning, it has been one day. One day and five, so 20, 29 hours. 29 hours, 105 miles. 15. 115 miles. Yeah, last night was pretty, uh, pretty interesting. It was fantastic until midnight. Um, we had a beautiful uh, trade style wind blowing. Daydream was just charging along, doing close to five knots. The seas were pretty flat. It was absolutely beautiful. And then at midnight, the wind died and then it sprung up uh, from the northwest which was exactly on our nose it was not predicted to do that at all so one thing led to another and another and um, a lot of slow sailing and feeding and then about five hours of motoring today but we made it <laughs> folks for any of you that uh, actually watched this to the end <laughs> this is where it ends back at White Horse Key right where it all began 200 and 240 ish miles and uh, a, a week ago yep. yeah wow we were sitting here a week ago waiting for our weather window and uh, we got it we got it we got it, and uh, tomorrow we'll uh, pack everything up, take Daydream to the ramp, and uh, tow her back home. But uh, Happy New Year, everybody. God bless. Woohoo! Happy New Year! Happy New Year!